All right. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I think my tool is getting ready enough to uh, to have a limited beta um, where if you want to use, be a, a first user of this tool uh, and you're willing to accept that you're testing it for me, um, you know, if you find it useful, whatever you find it useful for, I'll try to um, support that, you know, that your notes don't get lost and things, but that could happen. So uh, I've been trying to iron out the kinks. I've been using it for videos, uh, replies, in order to uh, see where it doesn't really work the way I expected. Um, I just made a reply where it seemed to work pretty well. Um, there's a few kinks that aren't so bad type things like, um, you know, I'm learning about Google App Engine. When you put something in the database, their replication server, it doesn't necessarily come back right away. If you put it in the database and then query right there, it doesn't necessarily come back. It's just like a YouTube comment because they have it, you know, distributed in a distributed database. But there's ways I've solved most of that, but there's a couple places you might have to like save the note twice. It's actually saved on the first time, but if you want to see it in your display box, you know, you have to do, do it twice. Um, I'm working on things like that, but I, I think it is useful. So you come, you put your video URL in here, um, and then it, it's saved, which whichever one has been viewed latest comes up on the uh, on the left here. And so this is one I just worked on, a video from a conference report um, that I'm going to use this in a second to reply that I'm going to do this video first. So and show you what's going on. So um, I've created this button, create note ending now. Uh, it's create 10 second note ending now. Because uh, I, I wanted something like this. I wanted to be able to play the video and just go, oh, I want to talk about that. Ooh, I want to talk about that. So what this does is um, using the current time as it's playing, um, it, it creates a note for the start time was 10 seconds earlier and then you can go back to it later and, and adjust it. Okay, I'll show you how that works in a sec. Um, down here are all the notes I created after I've uh, adjusted them and given them given them names. Um, so one thing for the beta testers to realize, because see I don't have any user login features, I could have done that, it's not difficult, but I want people to be able to share notes pretty much right away and so it's easier just to for the uh, for a limited beta, people just hopefully won't step on each other's stuff because you can keep different sets of notes. Okay, these are all uh, notes in this class up here, global. That's the default one. Well, let's say I wanted to have my own notes. I can just name a class Piro. Um, all these notes have disappeared. So let's say I just seek out here. Okay, where is that? One o four. So create note ending now. Um, so there's the note, and it just puts in a generated message. And when I play it later, artwork, and then put my phone. And when I can go, oh, it's uh, focused artwork, or I don't know what he said, and it's saved. I've, um, you know, and then the the notes I just taken for, I did them in the global, and so you can get that whole list back. So I'm going to use uh, usernames for that as well. So. You'll have notes only you can edit, and they'll be possible to share note sets and, and work on them in groups and stuff. But obviously, there's a little bit of logic to that. But you know, I don't want to wait to try the tool out as such. Okay, so um, let's go back to this pure one where I won't change because I'm going to use this in a second. Okay, so that has the one note. Um, so if I click on a note, any of these buttons down here actually will load the note. And. Um, uh, I've made it a little easier to adjust the time, uh, you know, without, you don't have to save, if you hit return, it'll save that right away. Okay, so there's an example of it saved it right away, but see how it didn't show it, I'll have to hit it a second time to actually see it, but it did save it the first time. When you hit return in here, it'll save the time. Okay, that time it did it right away. That's the replication server issue. Okay, but you don't have to save it. Um, if I, let's say I do 55 seconds for under a minute, you don't have to put the colon. Um, now I can play, 
It hasn't actually yeah, saved it. It hasn't actually saved it yet, see? So you can just try it out. And then uh, really have this pause. And I'm going to add a resume because it's. I think it's kind of nice to be able to resume without... You know, in a resume up here, we'll still stop here. But it won't go back to 50 because this always goes it's back really to 50. You know, I, I'm not going to perform However, you can also, uh, I'm just saying when you, I've noticed when you want to adjust the times, it's easy at the start, this is really useful. You can say, oh, that's not you know, early not enough, going to and you can put it earlier, you know, or later, or whatever. The end one can be annoying, because if you have a big clip, like a minute, you don't want to watch it from the beginning. So I'm going to add some features to help with that, but uh, right now, since it doesn't save unless you hit return in there, but it does use it to play, you can, you know, move that. Performance. Even though you still want it to be at 50 seconds, just so you can get the ending right. And um, but the thing is, where I'll add some feature to make that that better um, is the fact that when you do save the note to save the end time, you know, gotta remember to put that back to whatever you really want it to be saved as. So, um, I'm not really using these links, but it is stored in the database. The idea is that uh, I'll enhance this and this can be a, a link to a reply, for example. So, um, you can attach replies to people, might have blocked your YouTube, but here you can attach a reply and it'll be associated with the time. So, you'll be able to attach a video to a particular time in this. And as I work on other features, I, I will have a second player and have a two player version. Of a, of a note play uh, back web page where um, yeah I can if I have made a video link to this video at a particular point uh, when it comes up I can watch the reply uh, or if I'm watching the reply it will load the other video and to, to the particular time it's gonna be kind of cool because I think because what you, I can do is you can put special notes, notation like commands in your description and I'll be able to read them and use them to control this two player thing. So if you, you know, put a video ID or name or some sort of identifier and the time code of start and end in your description, then if people are watching your video through my uh, thing, uh, then at that point in your video, it'll stop your player play the other one and then start you up again so um, you know and this is also going to be a way to make comments on videos that you can't uh, download and embed in your own video because of copyright um, so there's a bunch of other little uh, tools um, reset just goes back to this uh, link page right always starts off in this uh, global workspace or annotation class um, beta testers will try not to step on each other uh, when you load a note uh, this goes to the start this goes to the end this plays it and to say, oh, well, this is an object. So that obviously pauses it um, if you hit return in here or here it saves the note or if you click here it saves the note if you hit return in here it just you know sorry now, it puts it all in one line down here, but in reality, look, I'll just load some other note. Um, it does resave the returns, okay. Um, <clears throat> so, I just had something else I was thinking to say. Uh, this clears the form, which can be important, because see, this if this ID is up here, uh, no matter where this thing seeks, it's, it's on that note, and you can edit that note, right? So you have to kind of notice that. And sometimes you want it to, to oh, I'm at a place I want to take a note, so you, you can clear the form. And if there's no time in the start time when you save a note, it'll, it'll save it to the, um, it'll use the current this time. Right. Um, this opens the tab in a new page. Uh, here's where you show the YouTube comments. Um, off the bottom, you can't see. There's a little C2 and some some debug stuff, including the old C2 command. So, all right, yeah, for people that are willing to help me test and want to get their hands on this early, 
uh, PM me, um, put something about, um, you know, uh, video time code tool beta in the, in the title. Um, people I know that might want to use it and play around with it are uh, going to be selected probably first. Then if I might not be familiar with your videos or if I'm familiar with your videos and wouldn't necessarily know why I would think you'd want to use the tool, then, you know, send me a link to a video where you've downloaded and embedded or recorded with your cam, you know, somebody else's video uh, into your um, into your own video, you know, you've played their video and listened to the audio, you know, just show me um, something where you, you might have used this tool, um, so I know you'll try it and tell me all the problems. Alright, um, yeah, so I hope some people are interested, I'm looking for like a half dozen to begin with, um, of a sm very small group that can uh, c communicate. Uh, maybe make a Google group for it or something so that uh, um, you know it's focus group more than just um, monkey tester. All right, cheers.